It was right here at Tate's Craft Cocktails in downtown Winston-Salem that I discovered what I consider the perfect cocktail, the Fig Manhattan. Today I'm gonna to put on my mixologist hat and show you how it's done. This house belongs to Jim Tedder. This tree belongs to Jim Tedder. It's a fig tree. Well, it belongs to the earth. Jim's just living near it. Nonetheless, it yields the perfect fruit. Behold, the fig. Figs are among the oldest fruit that people eat. They came from Asia Minor and they spread through Greek and Roman times through the Mediterranean. Figs are loaded with potassium, iron, plant calcium, fiber. They're some of the sweetest fruit you can put in your mouth. Back before sugar was all the rage, they used figs to sweeten all manner of desserts. The ancient Romans even invented a cookie. And if you've ever eaten too many figs, you know that they're a laxative, <laughs> as well as a diuretic. Very useful fruit. It's not really a fruit, it's a siconium, the stem of this plant grows and swells at the bottom and the flower that would normally be on other plants grows inward. So when you bust open a fig, what you're looking at is the flower. It's a self-pollinating thing. All the flowers are female and they don't need no stinking bees. I'm here with my buddy Jim, and in the South we say buddy when we mean best friend and all around decent human being. And we're at Tate's. Like I mentioned before, this is Tate's Craft Cocktail, the, the home of the original. Well, maybe it's not original. Can it be original? Did they I invent it? I'm not sure if they are. I don't know that they invented the Fig Infused Bourbon Manhattan, but they certainly did a great job of perfecting it. So, I saw it on the menu and I went, wait a minute, fig? Bourbon? My wife Laura likes figs and she's kind of interesting and tasty and I'll try it. So bad news, I went in to order the Fig Manhattan and the bartender tells me they're not making them right now. They discontinued it from their menu. but. Never to fear, we know how to make them. That's why I'm doing this vlog. Right, Jim? You know how to make them. Jim makes his own variety. I'm gonna get out of here. And so is Jim. You remember that I Dream of Genie show? You remember. Barbara Eden used to pop in and out of scenes with her genie powers. I've got that technology now. So I'm gonna do it. You know what to do. I'll do it. And then he's gonna do it. And we're gonna meet at the deck. So here I go. A fig Manhattan is a regular Manhattan made with fig infused bourbon. You'll have to allow seven to 10 days for the figs to infuse the bourbon. So this is how that goes. Get yourself some sun-kissed mission figs. They hang out where they sell raisins and prunes and dried apricots. These figs are dried, so the sweetness is even more concentrated. The mission fig was brought to California in 1504 by the Spanish Franciscan missionaries. Mission figs. You only need 15 of them. You save the rest for snacks. I'll leave the stems on. You put 15 of them, cut in half, and you put it into a jar, a jar that's big enough to hold a whole thing of bourbon, 750 milliliters. You cut them in half to let the sweetness come in contact with the bourbon. So I got one vanilla bean here. So 
organic fair. These things are expensive. You can get uh, fresh whole ones uh, cheaper than you can find find the ones in the jars. Sometimes these jars cost as much as ten dollars. You cut it in half and you put it in the jar. So what kind of bourbon do I use? It really depends. If I'm talking about the bourbon that I just like to sip, that's a different thing altogether than one that I'm going to infuse with fig. Because the fig adds a layer of flavor and sweetness that gets on top of the subtleties of a good bourbon. Why pay a lot of money for something that you're going to change the taste of? So my real thought is to find an affordable bourbon to mix the figs with to make a good fig Manhattan. So what's an affordable bourbon that works? Wild Turkey is one, but today I bought Four Roses. Four Roses is an excellent bourbon. I mean, it's not the best bourbon you can drink, but the bourbon flavor is a matter of opinion. Four Roses is really good, and it'll do the job for a fig infusion. Open it up, take the bourbon, pour it straight into the jar. A quart ball jar is great. Put the lid on it put it on the shelf. Put it in a dark place and once a day come into the shelf and do this. Just once. You'll notice it getting darker and darker as the days go by. You can let it infuse up to two weeks if you want. It's your taste preference that matters. And once you've made a couple of these batches you'll really start to hone in on it. So by the way the vanilla adds a, a wonderful extra note of roundness to the fig. Gives it the vanilla back that maybe is masked from the original bourbon by the figs. So this guarantees you get a really good flavor. You can drink fig bourbon straight up just by itself because it's its own drink. And that's the way Jim likes it. So I'll pour him one. Where'd you go? Well, I, I went to make you a fig bourbon. This is straight up fig neat, just nice. like you like it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, I tried to do the same thing that you did, but I had to walk home. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh, didn't you see I Dream of Jeannie? I did. Oh. I did just what you did and what she did, but it didn't happen uh, for me. I'm sorry. Well, well, you have that. Thank you. Try it. See if it's any good. Very nice. All right. Good. Good. Very nice. So I'm gonna go make a fig Manhattan. You want one? I'll keep the straight. All right. Well, let That's me nice. uh, let me wig out of here, and I'll be right back. Time to make the fig infused Manhattan. So what you want to do is fill your little cocktail strainer with ice cubes, I'm trying to let any of them escape. You don't need many. A little tray like this is great. This is just to chill it off. Two jiggers. Uh, fig bourbon. A Manhattan is made with sweet vermouth. You put one of these in there. Then you use Angostura bitters. Two shakes of that. Or three. You put that in your strainer. Shake it to chill it off. You can do a dance here. You see bartenders do things. It's all about the style. You strain the contents over the ice cube. And then you add a cherry or two. Voila. Big Manhattan. So, hey, I'm back. Cheers. Cheers. I've got my uh, fig infused Manhattan, mm. and you've got the straight up got fig. Straight up Very nice. good. So this started. This whole vlog started at Jim's tree, and Jim has a very special way of making his fig infusion. So I want you to share with the peeps how you do it. Well, 
we have to wait till the heat of the summer because that's when the figs are ripening and coming off daily. You can pull bagfuls off of the tree during the summer. So we pull them off, uh, take them inside, cut them into fours, lay them out on a uh, like a cookie sheet with a parchment paper underneath it, and bring it out into the, onto the deck during the heat of the day when the sun's out and the sun dry them. And it usually takes about a week. Oh really? You yeah. leave them outside in no, the sun? No, we bring them in at, at night oh, okay. because otherwise the raccoons and the <laughs> the night critters will come and get them. But <laughs> even during the day, you have to keep a close you watch. You got to keep a watch on them. Because birds. The birds will come get them. Yeah, the squirrels will come get them. Dogs. Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Edie would have. <laughs> These probably not. But um, yeah. So when they're dry, how long does it take? I can't remember now. I know after three or four days, they really start to to dry out, but it's probably a week, week or two. Um, but once they dry out, you can see that they really shriveled up and they dry. Uh, go ahead and drop them in the mason jar, about halfway full, put in a vanilla bean, a little tiny chunk of cinnamon, three or four uh, black peppercorns. Oh, really? Then we pour off the bourbon, and it doesn't have to be an expensive one, it can be cheap. And we use fairly cheap bourbon and uh what do you consider cheap in bourbon uh use jim beam or do you use uh probably like um evan williams okay or, yeah uh, something, something along yeah. that line yeah so it's gonna be evan williams is not 15, bad yeah folks. 15 20 bucks yeah okay so wild bottle. turkey evan yeah. williams four roses as you've yeah. noted yeah then we seal it in the mason jar put it in the dark and um i left mine in there for 30 days 30 days yeah have you done a batch where you took it out less? Sooner? Uh, I don't remember. I just did the two batches. Okay. And I think they were both about the same, but... Um, Let me tell you, I tried his batch straight up. It was like nectar. So if you have a tree and you have the patience and you have the time to devote all of the real stuff to it, then I suggest you do it his way <laughs> because his way is really a lot more uh, superior, if that's the only word I could think of, is a lot more better, let's put it that way, <laughs> than the way I've done it. But if you want to get to the point, Black Mission Figs, you know the drill, you've seen how it does done. Do it in a week. And so here's to Fig Manhattans yeah, or just, straight up Fig Bourbon. This summer coming to you. <laughs> Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to try. Hmm. You'll be... Let me hurry out of here. <laughs> so, my idea was, that's the way to do fig bourbon, yeah. but I've got another idea because, you know, figs. Fig what I'm thinking is that possibly fig newtons dipped in bourbon might be a thing that might be a thing so we're going to try it right now <laughs> here we go i'm just going to get it all soaky it's going to mess up the bourbon but <laughs> oh you ready yeah mm. <laughs> oh. interesting <laughs> all right is that a thing i don't know it changes say, the flavor of the Fig Newton for sure. I'd say that's not a thing. <laughs> so it's a no go. That's a no go. <laughs> so better for some reason it's drooping. <laughs> so for some reason the camera's getting lower and lower. I don't know why. If you like this episode, hit like. You can hit subscribe right here. If you want to, you can hit. You can watch a couple other episodes right here. So it's all up to you. We'll see you next time. Martin's Mini Hats.